All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I want to do is go over another example of fractions adding when you have unlike uh, denominators. So here I'm going to have two-fifths plus two-thirds. Now, remember what I showed up here. When you, have your bar, <clears throat> when you have your fractions and they're not divided by the same term, so here's divided by two, and this one bar was divided by three, I can't just simply add them and say that's, because think about it, if you add two, the numerators, right, I'd have one plus one, that's going to give me two. Well, what is that? Is that two halves? No, because two halves would make one. Is that going to be two thirds? No, because look at two thirds only goes up here. It doesn't get to as high as what actually um, your answer is going to be. So what we need to do is make sure we have our common denominators. So to get five and three to be my common denominators, I'm just going to want to list the multiples of each number. So to list the multiples of five, I can do five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I'll stop there and just try check three and see where I'm at. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So what you notice is that 15 is going to be my uh, common multiple. So that means is my, my answer, I'm going to want to get 15 plus 15. So now what I got to do is got to determine how am I going to get 3 and 5 to be 15. Well, to get 3 to be 15, I need to multiply by 5. And remember, whenever you multiply your denominator by 5, to keep an equivalent fraction, you're going to have to multiply the numerator. So to get 5 to be, uh, to get 5 to be 15, I need to multiply by 3. And I multiply on the top and the bottom. So 3 times 5 we know is 15. 3 times 2 is going to be 6. 5 times 2 is going to be 10. Now all I can simply do is add 6 plus 10, which is going to give me 16 over 15. And that is going to be an improper fraction, but that's OK. And I'm just going to leave that as my answer. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you add fractions, with, or add fractions when you have unlike denominators. Please, please. Do not just simply add them up and say, give me two parts, and then try to pick a denominator. You have to find the common denominator by using, taking the multiples and seeing which multiple they share in common, and then multiplying to get that multiple. All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen.